it's actually given me so much more confidence in myself because before I thought like I had to like have all of these aspects of like lighting and yeah true professional and like all of these things together to make myself feel like I look good in a picture I like the moments where it just feels like a glimpse into like a moment in my life shooting with my friend Brian a lot and I was just seeing these like really raw pictures of myself and I'm like okay I don't need to like suck my cheeks in and like stand in a way I can just like be myself and I really mm. like the photo mm. that comes out of it and so then I started doing the same thing with the like pictures I was taking of myself and I was like getting the same feeling and the images and I was like okay this is like really nice like it gave me a lot more confidence to be a model like, yeah which is weird because I've mm. been doing it for so long but you kind of get caught up in the whole build up of everything it can be a good feeling but also if you're in a place where you're like mm. not happy yeah uncomfortable it kind of like amplifies that feeling and also social media is like there's certain things you want to post and there's certain things you don't like and a lot of my self-portraits are like nudity and so I don't there's some which not that they're like sexual or, or whatever but it's just yeah you do like filter yourself differently on social media than you would if you were like making a book or doing a 100%. gallery show the first step of that goal is to even just get like one of my portraits into a gallery show it's weird when you're a model and everyone kind of like takes care of your career for you and like sends all the emails and contacts people. So now mm. I'm like, okay, I have to contact people to be like, yes. hey. <laughs> and you feel like, oh, how do I do that? <laughs> then I was like kind of inspired to keep trying and look at references and be inspired by other people's work. And yeah, that's kind of what got me into it. <laughs> I, I was really nervous to do it. And then I shot like um, one of my friends and then I just shot her again recently. I don't know why I thought shooting myself would be way, way, way easier. And then I wouldn't be able to translate that to shooting somebody else. You can really put out this persona that like you're killing it and everything's amazing. And then <laughs> maybe behind the scenes, that's not how you really feel. And everyone's always like, you're always judging yourself against everybody else and what everyone else is doing. And yeah, yeah. That, can be, that can be tough for sure. You hear like the craziest criticism and it kind of stays with you. You're like, okay, you walk and then they, you see every, like some girls trying on clothes and for you, they're just like, okay, thank you. Bye. And, or like, yeah. I've had my card given back to me. I'm oh like, god. Okay. You could have just kept that rather than like, <laughs> yeah, you could throw you it away. I want to see my card again. Damn. <laughs> I think the worst thing is when uh, you go to a casting and the client isn't even like grateful that you went there and you're like but yeah. I had to get ready I had to take the train or an uber here I came in here I'm using my cards which I paid for yeah and you won't even like be polite or say like hi or say bye I just think that's wow. kind of crazy yeah. once you get into like the middle of it and like yeah. you're doing a show season and you have like lots of shows yeah the, the energy is amazing especially I always loved Paris that was my favorite it's like really? the end the end week and it's like all these amazing shows all the encouragement on my work. Bye.